All right, guys, we've got two very powerful machines in the studio today, a battle versus battle. Who is going to win? Let's talk about it right now. We have the Apple MacBook Pro M2 Max, 32 gigabytes of RAM. We have two terabytes of storage. This is pretty much almost maxed out, a very expensive machine. But what PC counterpart can match this M design chip, this SOC design chipset? Well, we have from Asus, the 16 inch ZenBook Pro has a Supernova SOM chipset, which is very similar to architecture as the SOC, not quite there, but very similar where the RAM is placed closer to the CPU. Now we have a 12th gen Intel i9 processor inside of this. We have an RTX uh, 3060 graphics card by Nvidia. We have two terabytes of storage and 32 gigabytes of RAM. So when you look at these machines, they are very, very close in specs, but how do they handle red 8K footage? We're not talking Sony here. We're not talking Nikon. We're not talking Canon. We're talking red cinema grade 8K footage. These are massive files. We're going to put them in Premiere and we're going to see how they handle. Now you might be saying to yourself right now, hey, wait a second. Bye. I already know the MacBook Pro is going to win. And I may say to yourself, you may be right or you may be wrong or it might not even be a close battle at all. We're gonna find out, but right now, before we do that, here's a quick message from our sponsor. Here at Geek Culture, we've tested plenty of chairs, but Secret Lab gaming chairs remain one of our favorites. Whether it's for work or play, they feel great to lean back against, with their ergonomic features offering support for the whole body, from the head and back, to the arms, and even something for your butt. This mix of form and function helps the Titan EVO 2022 deliver the best seating experience like no other. For more information, check out secretlab.co. All right, let's look at playback and scrubbing performance here on the ASUS. We have to go to 1 16th to even get something manageable out of this. These files are massive for this machine, unfortunately, and it is very difficult to edit a 10 minute AK raw video with this. So this is where the red footage is really gonna tax the SOM chipset versus the SOC. And you're gonna see that in just a bit. Looking at the playback performance on the M2 MacBook Pro, this is where you're gonna see Apple really shine. Now there are some drop frames here and there, but for the most part, you don't need to drop this in a proxy or anything like that it actually plays really well. Also, you can see the CPU performance on this. It looks good. Now let's render first and foremost the Mac and let's see how this goes. Now we're going to be looking at a total around 45 minutes thereabouts. The fan does kick on after the first minute and then after that it does kind of quiet down. But this is really taxing on any machine, especially 10 minutes of 8K raw footage from RED. And it does take about 45 minutes to render this. However, when we get to the ASUS, surprisingly, the ASUS is only about 11 minutes slower than the Mac when it comes to rendering the same exact footage. Because honestly thought it was going to be a lot slower, but Asus did chug along very, very well and it held its own. All right, as we saw from our premiere rendering and editing and everything else, we have a clear winner, folks. The MacBook Pro M2 Max is just a beast of a machine. I mean, the M1 Max is already a beast in its own right. The M2 Max has just kind of put the nail in the coffin, so to speak. But we have to give credit to Asus here. I mean, look, the SOC design on the chipset that Apple's using for their M chips is fantastic. And Asus is close with the SOM. We have not tried the latest version of the ZenBook Pro 16 inch. It's quite not a fair battle per se, but it's close enough to give you an idea. I think there's a lot of work for the Asus to do, but I have to tell you something. To give Asus some credit here, I love what they've done with this machine. The OLED display is awesome. The ergonomics of this are fantastic. The build quality out of this laptop is friggin' amazing. And if you're not shooting red video footage, honestly speaking, would you notice that much of a difference? There may be some, but I mean, if you go to 4K and everything else, this is gonna be more than enough for you. And I just love how it's designed. Now, there are some nuances to this. With the MacBook Pro, you can charge via USB-C. As with the ZenBook, you can't. It needs enough power, so you have to use the power brick that comes with it, which is quite big. That's a little bit of a downside to it, but you still have an SD card uh, uh, card reader inside of it. You have your Thunderbolt 4 ports in this and a trackpad that is very versatile, which you can have as a number trackpad. You can adjust to how you want it to be. There's a lot of customization to this machine. So for you PC people out there, don't think that just because Apple won this battle that the Asus doesn't have a, a seat at the table. It definitely does. But when we're comparing this for red footage, 8K25P in Premiere Pro, Apple has the trophy. They are the winners. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button as well. More content coming your way. And if you like this review, check out more, more of our reviews right here.